Easily the most common type of make an equation problem is to make a linear equation. So when you're making a linear equation, you're concerned with two things. The fixed term and that's the y-intercept, the constant, and the variable term that changes depending on the amount of time or increments or whatever you're measuring. It's the coefficient. It's the slope. It's the coefficient in front of your variable. That's all it takes to define a line. Check out the line equation videos for more on that. But it's all there is to it. So the, really the key thing you got to do is you got to identify which is which. Slope and y-intercept. That's the biggest deal. Now, these problems come in a variety of formats. You have make a linear equation and just answer the linear equation. Make a linear equation and solve. Make a linear equation and tell which graph is correct, which is pretty in a, a pretty uncommon one. And then you have finally you make two linear equations and maybe or maybe not solve. That's what we have here down below. So let's take a look at it and we'll talk more about the concepts as we go. Plant A. Okay, A equals A is, remember is is like an equal sign usually, is seven centimeters tall. So that's its current size. It's seven centimeters tall. Nothing changes. It's not a rate. Okay? So that's just going to stand alone. That's a seven plus. In plant B, so we're changing topics. That's a little semantic trick to throw you off a little bit. Is 11. Same deal. B is, this is equals 11. It, that's its status right now. It's not a rate. So that's our y-intercept, our fixed. Both fertilized, plant A grows one centimeter a week. All right, see, one centimeter per week per indication of rate. Check out the rate stuff for more. Per week. So one times the number of weeks, right? Or you could say X. I usually use X, but I'll use W. V does the same thing, except it's a half a centimeter a week. So remember the standard form of a line equation is Y equals MX plus B where M is slope and B is y-intercept, right? We've got that here. I mean, we kind of have it written backwards, but it doesn't matter. We can write it forwards if it makes you feel more comfortable. Some people do feel like it, and that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. So that's what our equation is looking like. Here's the second real trick. After how many weeks? Will the two plants be equal in height? After how many weeks will the two plants be equal in height? Equal. That means we're going to, we're looking for when A equals B. Well, I can just say, well, that's going to be when 1 W plus 7 is equal to 1 half W plus 11. Because they will be equal in height. Now, before we solve, let's take a look at what's actually going on here. Let's say I have a, I was to graph this, okay? And I'm just going to approximate. Let's say this is A because it started at 7 and B started at 11. These problems will always work this way. Now, it won't always, they won't always be going both up. Sometimes they'll both be going down. And very occasionally they'll be have opposite sign slopes. One will be going up, one will be going down. Pretty fancy R movements. Um, so B goes up reasonably gradually. Right? It goes up kind of like this. A starts lower, but it goes up more steeply. And then at some point, A is going to cross and leave B in the dust. Has to work that way. So, like, you know, for example, if A started or B started higher and had the steeper slope, they would never run into each other. The one that starts higher needs to have the steeper or the more gradual slope if it's going down, or going up rather, and the steeper slope if it's going down. That's the way it has to work. You can sketch that out if you ever get confused or you're worried that you didn't assign the right y-intercept or the right slope to something. Now we can just go back to this and solve. Subtract 7 from both sides, it's going to give me 4. Subtract 1 half w from both sides, it's going to give me 1 half w. Now, Divide by one half or multiply by two, it's the same thing. 
multiply by the reciprocal to get rid of a fraction, you can divide by that fraction. When you divide by one half, it's the same as multiplying by two over one. You could just say two. So W will equal eight. Pay close attention to these and play around with them a little bit. You know, while you're practicing, you may want to try sketching a couple of those graphs out. It can actually be really, really helpful. It's a really important skill that you got to have. Um, shows up all over the place, and you just need to get those points in the bank.